Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to try to show you how you can copy tracks from iPod, iPhone, uh, or iPod Touch using MediaMonkey uh, from the device back onto your computer. The first thing you're going to want to do is plug the device, the iPod or the iPhone, uh, into your computer so that MediaMonkey can detect it. And uh, you'll know that it's been detected when you can see the little iPod icon uh, in the tree, and you'll also see it up top here. So what you want to do is you want to click on that node there in the tree uh, so that the tracks come up. And uh, depending on how large your device is, it's going to take a while to load. Uh, you'll see a little reading tracks down the bottom there. Uh, mine's loading relatively fast because I've only got a 16 gigabyte iPhone here. Um, but obviously, something like a 160 gigabyte iPhone or iPod uh, will take much longer to load. Uh, in that case, if you only want to track uh, do a certain subset of tracks. You can find them using the playlists, uh, denominations, or cert by certain artists uh, by navigating the tray. And of course, there's less tracks there, so they'll load up much quicker. So what you want to do um, is find the tracks that you want to copy back. And I imagine in a lot of cases, uh, people are using it as a, some sort of backup and are going to want to do all of their tracks. Um, in that case, you can do edit and select all. That way all the tracks will be selected. Um, you can see how many files are selected down the bottom left hand side of the screen. Uh, in my case, just since I'm showing this, I'll just select a few files and show you how I can copy these from my iPhone back onto the computer. Uh, so I'm going to go to Tool, Tools, Auto Organize Files. Now here I'm going to select Copy Files to New Destination based on track tags. Uh, so the the files are copied rather than moved from the device and the uh, the tracks won't be missing on your iPod. Uh, so what you're going to want to do here is put in the destination where you want the files to go on your computer. And uh, if you know the MediaMonkey masking system you can just type in what you want to use or you can hit the configure button and it specifies it out a little bit better of uh, where the files are actually going to go. So I'm just going to put them here in my D drive. I'm going to create a new folder called iPhone so I know where they've come from. Uh, I don't really need a subdirectory so I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, and for file name I'll just use the artist name and a little hyphen and then title. And that ought to be good enough for my purposes here. So here you can see it's all fully written out and this is what the file names are gonna actually look like when the process is done and here you can see the old file names as they were stored on the iPhone. There's also an option down here to add the copy tracks into the library if you plan on managing these files with MediaMonkey. Uh, check that box, it'll make it a little bit easier for you so you won't have to scan the files in manually. So now we've got everything all set up, I'm just gonna hit OK and down at the status bar you can see uh, It'll show each individual file being copied. And when that process is done, open up Windows Explorer. And here I've got it open to the D drive already. And you can see here's the iPhone folder. And then here's each individual track. So I hope that was hopeful for you. And more videos to come.